Hello again, this is Baka Yaro, also known as Lorax42 from the dev.bucket.org. Um, I uh, wanted to uh, take a break from uh, working on the Movecraft plugin and show you something that I've made with it. Uh, I hope you're going to like it. Uh, it's this uh, big event system. Uh, it's a self-contained arena PVE co-op uh, event system, and I'm going to add some PVP uh, elements to it as well. It's called the Temple of Remembrance. Okay, so the first thing, uh, I'm going to include in the description a package, which will have everything you need in it. <clears throat> it's a self-contained package, uh, includes all of the plugins and configuration files necessary to make it work. Um, so let me start pasting this, because this might, it's, it's huge, so it might take a little while to, uh, to load up. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to load temple slash temple1, and I'm going to paste that. All right, and while it's thinking about that, like I say, this place is huge, um, a couple of uh, preamble. Um, so it does require... Uh, uh, version 1.7.5. Uh, I'm using Spigot. Uh, okay, it looks like it's just about done. I'm going to load up the next part. Temple 2. And you have to be standing in the exact same spot when you uh, when you paste all of these. Paste that. Um, it, there's a couple of plugins that it needs. So, uh, so I'm a developer on the Movecraft project, right? But <coughs> there are some other things that you need. Uh, you need... World Edit is the big one because this whole thing works through pasting World Edit uh, chunks. All right, and then the last piece. There's also another plugin called a CB Wrapper. Uh, I use that as well. That's just a little plugin that allows. It's basically it simulates a player. Now this third chunk always takes forever to load. I'm not sure why, to be honest. They're all the same size. Anyway. Um, uh, so we need CB wrapper. Uh, there's some other things that are recommended. I recommend you use World Guard. Oh yeah, see it timed out. Let me get back in there. Well, that will happen where it times out. <clears throat> and uh, if you get that, uh, the best thing to do is to simply load it again and paste it again, uh, because it often does not finish pasting when it times out like that. Okay, so I'm going to paste it again, and usually the second time you, it's not as bad because it's already loaded half of it. Anyway, uh, so like I say, World Guard recommended, not necessary, so it's not included in the package. The package includes every other plugin that you need. Um, Essentials uh, is more or less required. There, one of the PVE events needs Essentials. Uh, because you have to give, <laughs> because you you need 2,000 arrows in order to uh, kill all the zombies. You'll see that it's awesome, um, and I didn't want to give you the the sa separate stacks of arrows. All right, so it is now done being pasted. Let me show you this building. I love this building. This thing is awesome. So we back up. All right, there's those runic letters. See if anyone can figure out what those say. We have the weeping angels on both sides. And before you ask, no, not those weeping angels, different weeping angels. That's the front. That's the entrance where we will choose what event we want to, to play. If I fly above here, you can see inside it is just empty. There's nothing in there. It's a big empty arena, okay? Fly to the other side here. And here's the other side. That big, huge object, more runic letters. Uh, that huge building is the hangar where you can go and collect your rewards. So participating in these events earns you rating and it earns you points, uh, credit points. The rating unlocks new things that you can purchase and then you purchase with the credit points, okay? All right, let's go down there and we can start one up. So this is intended to be pasted into an existing server. Uh, it's essentially like an instance or a dungeon system, uh, except that there's only one of them running at a time, unless you had multiple buildings, and then you'd have to modify it slightly to allow that. 
But, uh, uh, so, like I say, inside that arena is separated from the rest of the world. Uh, it, whatever you do, you can do whatever you want in there, uh, and it doesn't affect the outside world, and the interior is regenerated each time. So you can turn the whole thing into a, you know, a, a cratered, uh, battlefield, and then the next time someone runs through, they'll be able to just do, do it again. Alright, so let's get this started. So we have a couple of events here. We're gonna start with First Blood, which is the first one. It's also supposed to be the easiest, kind of an intro mission. <clears throat> you can see a couple things about it. The name, what year it's supposed to take place. Uh, these are all um, episodes, or episodes isn't the right word. They're all history from the storyline uh, of my um, uh, Minecraft Airship Pirates series, uh, which is basically the story about this uh, airship pirate group. Uh, so this one, First Blood, takes place before the stories. I'm going to just start it generating, and it opens up this room. You walk in here, you can see that sign. Yeah, you want to pay attention to the signs, because what it says is correct. If you don't clear out your inventory, you're going to lose all your stuff. Then you can read about the history here and, and all this stuff. Anyway. A couple more notes. Uh, your server needs to have the view distance set to 15 for this to work. Otherwise, some chunks of it won't be loaded. And you need to have command blocks turned on, or none of this works. Uh, this is all using command blocks. Um, I would recommend using World Guard on the whole temple. So make the whole temple a World Guard region. Um, if you just create a region with the default settings of World Guard, it will prevent people from building, which is what you want. Uh, you don't want people to be able to build and to dig up stuff. Um, and uh, then you also need to give them permission to open containers, otherwise they can't complete the missions. Alright, so I think we're about ready, so we're going to go in here. Okay, and let me get out of uh, cheating mode here. Okay, this is how you start. So you start off, you're in this town, there's this big tower behind you, there's a couple of other buildings, uh, and there's a bunch of villagers wandering around. And out here, there's a destroyer. Okay, and that destroyer, he's going to come and bomb us, he's going to kill everybody in this town, uh, unless we go and stop him using these fighters. You have a couple of different fighters to choose from. There's the uh, cannon fighter, uh, that's just a, a regular fighter, and with uh, it's a fighter bomber, so it can... It can you know, shoot them and drop bombs on them. And then there's the torpedo ship. It's probably easiest to do this mission with a torpedo ship, so I'm going to use that. So I'm going to start up by right-clicking here, select successfully piloted craft, and then I left-click to enter direct control, right-click to go up, and now I control with the cursor keys that I use to control my character. All right, so that destroyer, you can see it, it keeps giving you these little messages, you know, the destroyer is on its way, you know. Um, Okay, it's starting to move, and it does have a tendency of half rendering things, which is annoying, but as long as you know where it is, you can still uh, play the mission. So okay, it's getting close, and I'm going to fire my torpedoes, both of them, and then I'm going to fire my guns. Okay, that should stop him. I'm going to leave direct control so I can uh, watch him. Oh, well, look, he's still dropping bombs. It's not going to do you any good. All right, Geronimo! Splat. And you'll note, if I die, I respawn right in here. So if you fall off your ship or whatever, I don't know how else you'd die on this mission, uh, you'll simply respawn right at the beginning. You can grab one of these other ships. There's sticks and anything else you might need in here. Uh... And, uh, yeah, so that is this event. Um, the destroyer is now sinking, so I will eventually win. Uh, this event is timed. Basically, you have a certain amount of time, and as long as that tower is still standing by the time expires, you win. Simple. Okay. Um, some of the other missions, uh, you have to accomplish something. Uh, you have to bomb something, destroy something, uh, and on those, the t if the time runs out, you lose. Uh, those are probably better ones to grind on, but like I say, this is more of an intro uh, mission. It's meant to be very easy. 
So if you get in here and you're like, man, it takes forever for that destroyer to come over here. Well, yeah, I did that because I wanted it to be very easy. Okay, and now we get to just basically wait until the timer expires. Okay. Uh, a couple of other things. When you paste in Temple 1, Temple 2, and Temple 3, the building will appear to the east of you. Directly to the east of you. Right next to you, in fact. Uh, so make sure there's enough space for it. Um, also, it's beneficial if you can paste it near your spawn, because those chunks never unload. Which So this the, the arena cleans up after itself. And the cleaning task won't complete if the player wanders off too quickly. So it's good to have those chunks stay loaded. There, uh, there's also mods out there that can help you with that. Okay, and you get this message. You have succeeded. Uh, you know, if only the original defenders had been so capable, our history would be different. And hey, look, fireworks. Awesome. Hey, there's my fighter up there. So, okay, so I won. Yay, good job. Go me. Now I walk out. And uh, in case you're wondering where the exit is, hopefully that is uh, not too subtle. And you can read through all of this, and as it says right here, your home point's going to be reset. So if you want your home point to be somewhere else, so make sure you take care of that. <clears throat> and you get these little messages that you gained uh, X amount of credits and X amount of pilot rating. And if you ever want to check your pilot rating, that's right here. You have this little button that says, check rating and credits. Okay, we hit that. Hey, my pilot rating is 40. Video Minion 2, apparently, <laughs> is rating 10. Okay. So that completes my first video. I'm going to show you some of these other events as well. Uh, and I encourage you to look at those, especially the zombie one. The zombie one is just awesome. Thank you for watching.